From high above, we soar over Europe's vibrant red-light districts, a pulsating heart of city life resounding with a symphony of sights and sounds that never sleeps. Here, in the heart of Europe, unfolds a unique cultural tapestry steeped in rich history and unseen urban existence. These districts, a testament to diversity and resilience, perform an intricate dance between tradition and modernity. They echo with tales of the past, pulse with the rhythm of the present, and hint at future stories to be told. Get ready as we invite you embark on an exciting exploration into the heart of Europe's most famous red light districts. Every tale has a starting point, and this includes the red light districts of Europe. Originating from the Middle Ages, these districts first served as havens for the marginalized and ostracized. But as history unfolded, they transformed into hubs of entertainment and pleasure-seeking. The ancient brothels, particularly in Germany and Italy, were state-sanctioned, an early method to control an industry viewed as necessary, yet ethically dubious. However, the real metamorphosis occurred during the 20th century. The red light districts morphed into symbols of freedom, their defiant neon lights challenging societal norms and restrictions. Simultaneously, these districts also became arenas for debates regarding morality, exploitation, and women's rights. Today, despite their controversial past and present, these districts stand as vivid remnants of history, woven seamlessly into the European urban landscape. Amsterdam, a city of canals, tulips, and the infamous De Wallen, Nestled in the heart of the city, De Wallen is more than just Amsterdam's red light district. It's a vibrant, bustling community steeped in history and culture. Imagine a labyrinth of narrow alleyways, charming old buildings, and vibrant neon lights reflecting off the canals. De Wallen is a testament to the city's long-standing tradition of tolerance and acceptance. It's a place where the line between legality and morality is blurred, and where taboos are openly discussed and accepted. The district is not just about adult entertainment, it's also home to shops, restaurants, and even a church, reflecting the district's diverse and multifaceted character. The locals embrace De Wallen as an essential part of their city's identity, a symbol of their freedom and open-mindedness. It's an integral part of Amsterdam's social and cultural life, a place that challenges norms and encourages dialogue. De Wallen, a testament to Amsterdam's liberal values and open-mindedness. Next, we journey to Hamburg's Reeperbahn, a place of contrasts. Nestled in the heart of the city, the Reeperbahn is a pulsating artery of music, entertainment, and yes, the notorious nightlife. It's a place where history and the present collide, creating a tapestry of experiences that's as intriguing as it is diverse. The Reeperbahn's roots run deep, dating back to the 17th century when it was a rope walk for shipmakers. Over time, it evolved, becoming a beacon for sailors seeking entertainment and relaxation upon docking. Today, it's a hub that attracts locals and tourists alike, offering a smorgasbord of bars, nightclubs, and theaters. But it's not all about the nightlife. The Reeperbahn is also home to the Operetten House, a venue for musicals and plays, demonstrating the area's commitment to culture and the arts. It's a testament to Hamburg's ability to blend the edgy with the classical, the bold with the refined. The Reeperbahn, where the night comes alive in the most unexpected ways. Brussels, known for its waffles, chocolate, and the vibrant Rue der Show. Nestled in the heart of Belgium's capital, Rue der Show is a testament to the city's diverse urban landscape. This lively street, brimming with energy and character, adds a dash of spice to Brussels' otherwise traditional cityscape. Rue der Show is not just a street, it's an experience. As you traverse this avenue, you're greeted by an eclectic mix of shops, cafes, and bars, each with its own unique charm. The street's vibrant nightlife is a magnet for locals and tourists alike, offering an array of entertainment options that cater to every taste. But it's not all about the night. During the day, Rue Dare Show transforms into a bustling marketplace, where vendors peddle everything from fresh produce to vintage clothing. It's a place where the ordinary and extraordinary coexist, where the pulse of the city can be felt in every corner. Rue Dare Show, a slice of Brussels that defies the ordinary. The red light districts of today are more than just their past. These areas have seen a transformation, evolving from their historical origins into bustling urban spaces with their own unique charm. From Amsterdam to Hamburg, Brussels, and beyond, each district is a blend of the old and the new. They're not only about adult entertainment anymore, but have become cultural hotspots, brimming with art, music, food, and fashion. These districts have also become part of a broader dialogue about sex work and its decriminalization, leading to a shift in societal attitudes. 
Many of these districts now function as safe spaces for sex workers, providing them with rights, protection, and a platform to voice their concerns. Moreover, these districts have become major tourist attractions, drawing in millions of visitors each year. People are intrigued by their vibrant nightlife, unique architecture, and the stories that they tell about our society, the red light districts a symbol of change and cultural diversity.